Dead Souls by Nine Inch Nails. Uh, this is from the Crow soundtrack, and of course a cover of the uh, Joy Division song. So this will be focusing, of course, more than Nine Inch Nails song, and it's just got a lot of real subtle parts for the verses. Uh, the chorus is kind of where like a, the big riff and it gets you know a lot bigger. Uh, but just the intro, it's essentially kind of made up of say like three parts. So the first part. We're just kind of hitting these single notes here, just, uh, you know, fairly subtle, you know, a little muted, a little subtle, but we're just going to be uh, first fret of the A here. Okay, we're just going to do some, you know, eighth notes where we're just doing about uh, seven of them. So just something like that. All right, and just before the measure's out, then we hit uh, three. And we're in that first three, we just kind of hold it for uh, a beat or two into the second measure. And then we just finish the second measure with those, uh, you know, some eighth note threes, uh, about seven of those. Can we just repeat that a few times? All right, and the intro continues on here. And we just uh, switch it up with a new little riff here. Uh, basically, we're kind of still sticking in that same area where we're hitting our uh, bass note here on the A, the first of the A. Uh, but we're gonna now we're gonna add kind of like a, a alternate picking thing here where we do um, three on the D with it. So we do uh, one on the A to three on the D, and do that twice. And then we hit that one on the A and slide it up to three. Hit a five on the D. All right, and then come back and hit uh, one on the A, three on the D. And then hit it once more, but kind of leave a little bit more space in between them. So just a little, little finessing going on there. So uh, slowly here, it would sound something like. Just repeat that and get it up to tempo. All right, next intro section, we kind of jump up to a higher voicing now. Um, we're going to be at uh, three on the G. Okay, we're going to hit uh, seven of those. Okay, then we hit a one on the B. All right, and then we do the second measure, which is uh, we do about seven threes on the D. Okay, so just switch into a new voicing and kind of a new uh, a new section of you know a play on what the vocal does. And now we jump into the chorus, uh, where everything gets you know heavier and louder and bigger. Um, it's going to just kind of be in this little uh, this little box of chords here, uh, where we come all the way up to uh, eight on the A, ten on the D for the F, that higher voiced F. And uh, it's going to be kind of strumming where we're doing like four uh, fairly quick strums, kind of just like a down up down up, you know, pretty quick happening there. Something like that, and then a couple more, uh, just slightly spaced out from the rest of them. And then we do the same thing, but we shift down two frets for the E flat, and these are all you know just five power chords. Okay, so we're at six on the A, eight on the D, and same kind of strum on that. Okay, so we went. All right, and now we jump up. So like I said, we're just kind of staying in this little area of chords. So we jump up a set of strings to where we're on the 6E8 on the A for a B flat uh, 5. And this, we just kind of hit this a couple times. And on the second time, just kind of bring it up to two frets. Okay, so that we're at that C5 chord. 
uh, 8 on the E, 10 on the A. And then this, we just kind of strum this out eighth notes to the end of the measure. Okay, so now just to put that chunk together, uh, kind of slow and easy here. Okay, and repeat that three times, that whole progression. Alright, and then we just finish it all off okay, by going back down to the B flat, the 6E, 10E, A, uh, and just hit that a couple times for a measure. And then bring it up two frets back to the C and hit that a couple times for the measure. Alright, and then we get this next uh, little riff that happens where it's... This comes in during the second verse and it also happens at the outro. And it's just kind of... Uh, you know, a couple chords strummed a couple times each, but you want to strum a slightly off beat, so you know, just kind of at that second beat, go ahead and strum it. So it sounds something like this we're down here at a, a A sharp or a B flat five, there, so one on the A, three, three on the D and G, and then just bring it up and do uh, a C, okay? So 3A55 five, five on the D and G. Alright, and we would just kind of go back and forth between those. Alright, and now for the bass lines. Uh, Joy Division always seems to have some like cool bass lines in their stuff, so uh, I like to figure them out. And this one's really cool because it's just kind of, it just goes throughout the majority of the song. It's this, and then there's a, a chorus pattern. And uh, it's pretty fun to play. It's um, We're just kind of picking along here up on some higher strings. Uh, we're going to be on the five of the D, and we're going to do about six strums on that. Just eighth note uh, strums. Okay. Then we hit three on the G, back to the five on the D. First measure, and then we go to threes on the D. Okay, we're gonna hit about uh, seven of those. All right, so that's the first half. All right, and essentially we're gonna do the same thing again, just add a little uh, extra note once we get up to the G. So uh, it'd be back to those fives for about six of them. The three on the G. And now we add a five too. All right, and then to the threes on the D. Uh, you know, same deal about uh, seven of those. Okay, so then just try the whole thing slowly here. Okay, pretty cool, pretty fun. And, you know, just, we just get that up to tempo, and then it just repeats throughout, you know, all the verses and the intro and all that. Uh, and then we'll get to the chorus in a minute, so just get going on that guy. for the bass it's pretty different looking than what the guitar is doing it's kind of just doing a you know a compliment for what the guitar is doing um, we're going to come down here and we're going to do a uh, first fret on the d string and we're going to do about six strums on that and that's essentially be our first measure and then we come up to the five on the g hit about four of those five on the D to 
three on the D. Okay, so. Something like that. All right, so we'll just and we're just going to repeat that throughout the whole chorus. So slowly now. It's a kind of a interesting, uh, different thing from what the guitar is doing, and uh, fun timing on it too. So get that up to tempo. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.